really a pleasure to host you here. No, no, thank you very much. Joshua, it's always a pleasure to be here. And it's, it's particularly a sweet pleasure for me to be here at such a momentous moment. Because I know you always speak about uh, running a marathon, but you ran very fast in 2014. Joshua, what for you were the bright spots in these numbers? I mean, I see a lot of bright spots, but from your point of view, what, 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 do you, what stood out for you? So it's, it's quite exciting for me if you look at our businesses. And, and let me say, perhaps where I must start is that we are seeing good pace at our economy today. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, there's always a lot of challenges to say the economy is not running, mm. but at 5.3 heading into 6 yes. uh, is the fastest we've seen in the last five years. Yes. And across all sectors, whether it's manufacturing, engineering, tourism, infrastructure, we're seeing that part running much faster for us. One thing I must say that has been very strategic for our group is actually isolating and catalyzing our partnership with Safaricom, yes. particularly both the Safaricom and M-Pesa for yes. last year. Yes. So in terms of our mobile integration, we launched our new API between, Safari, uh, between KCB and M-Pesa last yes. year yes. that made our transactions instantaneous. Yes. So we see a 50% increase in transaction and then a threefold increase in transactions. So yes. today, if you want to send money from us to M-Pesa, it's instant. There is yeah. no waiting. Yes. And, and with our mobile loan product that we launched, it means that you can easily get information from Safaricom, check the customer's profile of information, and give him credit, Ali Khan, within a question of one minute. Yes. So we could dramatically reconstructed assessment of credit. Wow. For micro customers. So they are not going to wait in the branch. Mm. It's a minute. Yes. No, I mean it's And that has been good for me. We also set up a new business, which is not as big, but it was a bank assurance business mm. for me. I think that's an area we need to focus on growing it much faster. They made 350 million in revenues much cost, the cost of income is around 20%, Yes, and they haven't even started scaling their business. Mm. But if I come overall, for me, the innovation around digital payments, yes. integrating mobile and agency as a new platform for services, yes. I think is maybe the catalyst that we've been waiting for an organization for the last five years. You're, you, you know, we, I often call you a digital CEO, but when I was looking at the presentation you made, Joshua, you were talking about how many transactions on, on, on mobile? So in mobile, so we have 11 million transactions on mobile. Yeah, yes. Yeah, incre increasing by 135. We're increasing today, I think they have increased threefold. Yes, if you look at the way we started before. I mean, that uh, was I, a ma massive move. Yes, but it's, it's, it's largely it's very planful because what we found a lot in our customers' profile is that we want to be able to, and how do we get customers into their life, provide them the services. We call banking, you know, what you do. It's yes. not where you go. Yes. I laughed the other day, a customer tweeted me and said, I am in the traffic, but I'm with my bank. Wow. It's an amazing place. That is, and you see that actually it's on social the media. There's a real you've connection. Got a connection exactly. And that's something that you can't even measure. So beyond the connection is the reality that they are actually banking. They may be making a payment, yes. correct? They may be up making an application for a loan today. They may be looking at their mini statement. They may be looking at their businesses mm. today. And that for me is the exciting part. Joshua, I've got to do the numbers because a lot of people listen to this. I mean, what struck me was an increase in total assets of 100 billion year on year. I mean, we're talking about a 25% expansion. Yes. Where did that expansion happen? Did it happen mostly in Kenya? <laughs> Correct. So, so I would say this is it's a big aspect for our group in terms mm. of growth. Yes. So KCB, Kenya is growing at you know, 26%. Mm. So we've been a big expansion of loans as well in the markets where we are. We've seen a strong growth in Uganda, yes. uh, growth in Tanzania also, mm. um, and so there's some growth in, in Rwanda. I yes. think why hasn't grown as fast as in South Sudan, if you ask me. But you, but you took a de deliberately more defensive posture? Exactly. Yes. So, so we decided in the market that let's think about how do we build a more long-term growth agenda in that country. So build some of the requirements, so build some kind of capabilities, build capacity today. And we work in partnership with the Central Bank, the Ministry of Finance, the Office of the President to say how do we build our business and the whole market. Our role is a little bit more strategic than just a normal player. I mean, yes. we You're believe, so we believe that we, we are part of the DNA mm. that can create sustainable development in South Sudan. Yes. So yes, we do make money, Yes. but we're involved in hospitals programs, military programs, in education programs. Yes, I saw yesterday you donated $100,000. Exactly. Yes. So in the UN, we're one of the partners they look up to to say, can we do this together as a business, as an organization? So, so, so it's overall, it's good. So the model is really to be inserted in the ecosystem, right? And Correct. So Correct. You mentioned in the presentation that we attended earlier that you were looking at DR Congo. Yes. Looking to visit Mogadishu. Correct. And looking at Ethiopia. Are those on a close horizon, would you say, or are, th are those still in the medium term? 
I would say they are uh, maybe much more closer. Yes. I mean, Ethiopia, we have always been ready ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we probably will go into setting a rep office. Yes. If we are not able to run a normal branch and collect deposits, that's something which we have. We will also be able, DRC, we are doing a lot of work in the eastern side. So you're, uh, you're, you're, you're giving banking services out of Rwanda? And out Burundi? of Rwanda and Burundi, yes. 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 Do you yes. see a foresee a step of going into the eastern DRC? Naturally, it will be a way mm -hmm. to progress our business yes. uh, because, you know, Kinshasa is quite far yeah. on the side of the li on the river. Uh, is actually on the Atlantic, you yes. know. So we yeah, have to f right. so we have to find a way. How do we connect from the Indian Ocean to the Atlantic? And that's that's the connection we need to make yes. across these two countries. So it it is growing. We see opportunity for us, and, and now in my view, we want to build that business strongly. So we, if you look at the business in Rwanda, I would say up to fifteen percent of the business in Rwanda is actually emerging, generating from the DRC. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. So Gishenyi as a branch, which is our most profitable branch today, yes. is on the border. So that speaks to the opportunity. In there. Exactly. And I've been, many times we've been asked to go into this market. We've been offered even businesses to integrate. We have business that we could take acquisition. I had yes. a business to buy last yes. year. And we think that we, will, we could create a very solid blue ocean business, mm. greenfield business for yes. us in the DRC. You'd prefer to market. do that? I think so. Yes, as yeah. opposed to take And on. in partnership. So, yes. for instance, we think about partnering, with, for instance, with the largest church, the Catholic. For yes, instance, yes, church. very so strong church. Exactly. Yeah. This is how we see. You know, our belief is to show that this mentality of scarcity and long range in business yes. isn't going to create revolutionary development in the continent. We're yeah. going to shake hands. Yeah, but I, I think in that way, your attitude towards collaboration has really borne fruit in the last 12 months. No, and you often mention Safaricom, but that really is a wonderful partnership that's really worked for both exactly. organizations. Exactly. And I also talk about Somalia. Yes. Uh, and that's an area that we have a lot of our partnership with the UN agencies that have been saying you need to set up business here and yes. run operations yeah. in, in, in Mogadishu today. So in right in on the UN yeah, business. Exactly. Uh, Hargeisa, for instance, an area we've been asked, is a peaceful place, running very well. Can we invest in this market? Uh, the governor of South of, of Bank of Somalia has been here a couple of times. Say, yes. you guys, you know, you kind of letting us down. We, you want you to run business, mm -hmm. so that's why I've uh, taken up. We feel like we're going to be there with my chairman Hargeis and Mogadishu this year yes. uh, and have a look and see what is going to be able to happen. These they were fantastic. Last year, Alikan, they were running on a two billion dollar cash yes. from the UN. Yes. It's a big amount of money. That's a big amount of money. So that's how we see ourselves. And the far fetch we are looking at um, um, Mozambique yes. as a country of very great interest for us. The language won't be a challenge? They are now moving into English. Yes. So it is a similar story in Rwanda before. I mean, yes. We were asked Rwanda and Burundi is French versus English. Yes. But we now have multilingual people mm -hmm. in this country. And, and three years ago, Mozambique is now moving more from the language to English. And that's how we see a lot of Kenyan investors and East African investors from Tanzania, from Uganda, into that market. You know, Joshua, just uh, tacking back a bit, if you look at uh, you know, your philosophies, particularly around the digital space, the great successes the bank has had in social media, recognition that, you know, how, how strong you are in that field. And you were painting a contrast saying, look, the branch is only expanded by 2%, I think. But you said agency yeah. went up to 60, how many? 60%. 60%. 60 You're looking at your mobile Correct. digital payment space. You mm -hmm. seem to be way ahead in there. What I mean, this seems to me, we seem to be very innovative right at the frontier. How would you characterize this opportunity? What, what would you tell us about well, that? Was, let me say that our markets are very historic. Today. Yes. I mean, and something to be proud. I would say it's a proud moment is, mm. you know, to be within the Eastern Africa. And yes. Globally, we are being seen as a, an innovative leader yes. on financial inclusion. Mm. And, and I must thank absolutely the current governor who is living, yes. Professor Ndungu, yes. you know, for just getting beyond regulation and mm. becoming more development yes. to enhance inclusion. Mm. So we tried new things. We yes. brought in agency, we brought in mobile, we mm. brought in card, we brought in cash light. Mm. And, and, that's, and banks need to run with this Twin. The biggest agenda for it is not even about growth. Yes. It's about creating opportunity, creating employment, mm. interconnecting new networks in mm. the economy to create revenue. i give you a good example. If yes. you automate a small transport guy, yes. he increases revenue by 40%. Is that right? He has done nothing else, just broad technology. So are these easy wins that we can reap? I mean, that's a big improvement, Massive. isn't it? I mean, it? I, 40%, you're doubling your business every two years. And that shows you about the opportunity we need to have. But we need to be able to, we can't do it alone. What I always yes. insist is how do we bring in partnership? And when I look at the leadership of Bob Collymore today and the Safaricom, I say 
this is a kind of partner that has the same kind of value system and belief, and we can connect ourselves. Yes. So in business, we're now creating new networks. Mm. So you talk about a social media network, yes. you talk about a business network. Mm. It's no longer the old networks we had. Yes. Uh, and and we, we have a new network we created with government on what you're calling the Lip, Linua Jami yes. payment initiative. You know, yes. paying people who have retired, people who don't have income, the older guys. Mm. It's a 26 billion disbursement mm. program. We are bringing resources to use technology to make payments mm. possible, which was not there before. Now, if you're targeting three, four million people, yes. that is real enabling development. Well, for and a huge opportunity. So that's what I see. And, yes. and this is going to be an area for our business. Let me also speak about what we see across the region. Mm. We are now seeing Uganda adopting this mm. methodology. We are seeing Rwanda mm. driving this. And I believe that uh, you know, Burundi and Tanzania mm. will be running yes. in this kind of progress. So, so it's, a, it's, a, it's an so exciting you're, you're space. You're leaking out and exactly. going regional. Exactly. I mean, we, when you speak with all the regional you know, governors of central yes. banks, supervisors, mm. they're actually saying, how do we learn? Uh, and I love the words of the can-do president, Paul Kagame. Yes, I agree with you. You know, what he says is, if we, if we can see it's working in Kenya today and it's operating, we need to kind of benchmark mm. and deliver. Mm. I mean, I say Africans' biggest growth yes. is not the big bang. It's about small steps yes. interconnected yes. that creates a bigger picture of business. Exactly. So we are not going to create the biggest new mobile engine aircraft in Africa today. Yes. But we can create smaller networks of agencies, of mobiles, creating jobs, mm. lifting people out of poverty today, creating the opportunities and growing our business. Mm. And that is Kenya for you in this decade. No, I, I agree with you. Yeah. And I, th I, I think so. So we continue to grow our business. And, and, and of course, one issue we've also been very keen as a business to do on our numbers, uh, Alikan, mm. is, is, is to continue enhancing our level of provisions. Yeah, can you talk about that just because I, I, I saw that you, you were very aggressive in your provisioning this time around. Correct. And I thought it was quite a muscular um, a signal to, the, to shareholders that, Correct. look, we can take such a big provision Correct. and still deliver you such outstanding profits. You, what was informing your thinking around that? So we've been looking at it from the last three years, Ali Khan, mm. and, and, our, and our view is that in the, in the midterm, so maybe talk about the period of five years, we do believe that credit scoring, which is now sharing the full credit file, yes. does enable us to start scoring customers than ever before. Yes. So we know who is a good customer, yes. we know who is a bad customer. And ultimately, we believe that a customer pays his loans, not because of security, yes. but because he has a compelling business, he has an in business is running, and for that, is his lifeline. He yes. has the skills to deliver an outstanding business. Mm. On that, he pays his dues. Mm. And that is how, and this is the fabric of our nation, a yes. small and medium enterprises are the guys that will be able to leapfrog yes. the development of our nation. Now, we, we said, okay, how do we then build? So we're using those models. Uh, we said we want to enhance then the level of provisions for two reasons. One, our coverage ratios need to be comparable mm. to global markets. Yes. So we're a global organization today. You know, our shareholders are coming across the world, you yes. know, from your very mature markets in Americas, yes. Europe, emerging markets, and African markets as well. So we've been promising to reach 60, 70 percent in three years. So by 2017, we want to be able to reach a coverage ratio of 70 percent yes. from a lower of 40. Mm. So now we are at 56, 57, mm. and I think that is a journey that we just share of 60 percent this yes. year. It's also important to say that we can take bold steps as an organization to enrich our level of provisions being prudent. Mm. So we factored our future cash flows. So basically what has happened is that we had cash flows on security mm. and we're discounting them at a much higher discounting factor. Yes. So basically you have less cash flows. Yes. The security still exists. Yes. But we are saying, okay, let's be a little bit prudent on this and because we can do, deliver a stronger results mm. but be able to protect the long term. This is a large institution yes, uh, in Al it's, it's, it's And running a business across the region, yeah. We're looking at all instances across all the countries where we are actually running. So that's for me, will be a, an important point. Number three is also to respond to a lot of concerns in the market yes. around the general under-provisioning in financial institutions. We're saying the industry is listening to it yes. and the industry is capable today to respond yes. by increasing the level of provision. No, that, that was an excellent response. Look, g going into uh, the loan book, there's such a big expansion. Are you able to mobilize deposits to support this new expansion? So this is a big part, mm. uh, you know, and, and, and we're going to work on it very mm. much this year. So last year we had strong, if you look at the deposit growth, yeah. so we had a loan increase by close to almost, almost 50 billion shillings, you know, and then we had deposits increase by the same amount. Yes. And, 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 that, and that we saw done very well because our channels are enabling us to bring in more deposits. Mm. So our agency channels are very at the forefront. 
are they at marshalling savings? Exactly. Because you know, we also said if you make the deposit at an agency, yeah. we're not charging any fee. Yes. Yeah, then it's easy for you to kind of... And now, and oh, now so, so it's a free inward deposit? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. I mean, if you bring, to bring in money, just yep. get into the mobile. Into the, and now we would, with connecting our mobile with the agency mm. and what we, we, plan, we are looking to unveil with Safaricom and M-Pesa soon in the coming weeks, is actually to enable that completely a seamless process. Yes. That will give you a chance for you to actually make the savings directly without any hassle. Mm. You know, so that's what you're looking for. That's one part of our yes. strategy. So mobile and agency. We are also being able to, by providing these channels of payments, yes. so our digital payments is bringing in cash yes. within the ecosystem, which do not exist. Mm. Cash does exist. Yes. So in fact, to bring in savings is to reduce the level of cash payments yes. to cash light mm. and digitize the cash into the network that mm. we have, the second part. And, and we see more pressure now. I must say we see more pressure now from last December, mm. largely because of pressure on the currency. Yes. You know, more competition for deposits. Uh, but we need to enhance a little bit more savings, mm. in my view, at the national level. Yes, because that's always a challenge in Africa, isn't exactly. it? Saying we're not yes. marshalling enough. Exactly. Yes. And, and this is the right question to ask. You yes. Know, yes, we want to make investment, mm. but how do you provide solutions and provide, not incentives, mm. I don't like incentives. Yes. How do you provide an environment where people can save mm. their one dollar, their yes. two dollars? Yes. So the multiplicity, I mean, if you have a hundred one dollar, it's, it's a hundred million dollars. Yes. I mean, it, it's a different... So the game changer is really the, the fact that the channel cost has collapsed, right? Exactly. With the mobile phone. Exactly. And there's nothing wrong to say that the branches are not growing as fast. Mm. I, th I think that's absolutely right. Yeah. I mean, the agency is a new branch. Mm. Right. It's recreating a new vision, which we never had before. I mean, people look at the same, oh, you're not growing branches. Mm. Therefore, I mean, let me just say the story about the new generation. So you're talking about the people called the millennials. Yes. They call these guys, when they grew up, lack of them went into any branch. Yes. So we still talk about the branch, they talk about mobile. Yes. Correct? We it's this whole new generation. Exactly. And, and therefore, we need to be able to start growing to access services for where they are. So I can't do institutions yes. should be collaborating with new markets, new inventions, and that's what will drive the way our market is going to be. Now, if you can scale it up across the region, mm. and listening to President Kagame last week, Yes. I think it makes a fundamental... And you asked, you, you, you were on point about the youth. That I mean, was if the you, thrust of your question. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, if you look at 76% mm. or 72% of Rwanda's population is below 30. I know. It's incredible, isn't yeah. it? And I mean, if you ask... the mass market for these you guys, is that. Even you ask them about, uh, about a typewriter, mm. they, they have no idea what mm. you're talking about. So and this, for me, is the vision we can be able to leverage on as a group. Now, I like the partnership is coming very strongly in our philosophy as a yes. group. Because, you know, we believe that, for instance, Safaricom and ourselves, yes. because they are absolutely solid organizations on their mobile business, mm -hmm. on the money transfer business today, on the business to business, on the, on the <coughs> consumer to consumer transfer, we believe that we can leverage on that <coughs> capability and use our knowledge on lending yes. to build a bigger pie. Wow. No, I mean, I, I and, and that's how we see as an organization. It's not about pulling down an organization mm. for our own benefit. It's about creating a better landscape for consumers, for new customers, for yes. emerging customers. We can double the pie of the market. So we say this. Yeah. If we just increase a level of cash light from the current 4% cash uh, to cash light or mm. non cash to 10%, mm. we're creating a whole new market yes. of, of close to $10 billion. That's huge. Uh, and we then create, you know, a hundred thousand new jobs, yes. new, new agents. Yes. If they employ two people, yes. this is two hundred thousand new jobs. Wow, you're going to create more jobs. Than that's what we're talking about. Yes. Yeah. So, so that's that's for me is so that's why you think it's a catalytic moment it, today. Absolutely. Yes. It will also address the challenge we face for for for, for our youth. We mm. say it's an opportunity, but we must be invested. Yes. The issue about businesses today is to put in their resources directly investing in these challenges. So when we say one million entrepreneurs to Safaricom, yes. it's because we said they can hire an additional person, it's two million jobs. Mm. And most of the younger generation are keen about being business people. They're keen yes. about running enterprises. And, they're, they're, they're and our, our former job market is not expanding as fast enough yes. to accommodate a million people yeah. every year. Yeah. And that's how we see our business leapfrogging development for the market. Let me jump back to a question that everyone asked me because they knew I was coming from there to here. There was no comment about the dividend or... So we have put our dividend at two shillings per share. You've, it's two shillings we per share? We kept the two shillings per okay. share. Okay, I mean, unchanged on Unchanged the, from yes. last year. Yes. I, I didn't put it in there. Yeah. But it's two shillings per share, largely for two reasons. Looking at how fast the group is growing today... You want to conserve you need, cash. Correct. Yeah. 
I mean, at 25, in three and a half years, you're doubling the size of this organization. That's right. We want to build Alican a mm. billion dollar of capital for this bank. Wow. What are we at now? 755 million. Yes. So well within sight. In the coming year yes. or so, mm. we want to be the first bank today in this market yes. to have a capital structure. I mean, then we can take project. We can yeah. take two twenty-five percent of a billion dollars, just two fifty million dollars yes. for a project. One ticket. We can take up an energy project and deliver it in yes. three, three, in six months. We can yes. deliver it in one year. Yes. That's what the nation needs today. You need leaders, and I said you can. You need to dream. You need to dream big. I like that quote. You're gonna take the same time mm. to dream. That's so it. a billion dollars, and, that's and you're really dreaming you. big. I mean, and I, I, what I find interesting is how you've had the whole organization come now behind you, and they're all dreaming the same dream so that it's, Josh it's was dreaming in that chair. Yeah, so I'm happy about that. Actually. Yes. So that's the reason why we've, and, and it was, it was, it was on the on the, what will be on the press tomorrow. So two shillings. Yeah. Keep it the same level. Yes. I think it's a good dividend. We're setting up also a non-operating holding company now. Yes, for I saw all that announcement. Yes. Yes. And that's also giving shareholders a chance to kind of structure differently how they'll be able to look mm. at their own investment in KCB. Mm. So, and I think it's a fairly good way. I'm a yes. strong believer in conserving cash today yes. Yes. as long as you're growing the business. Yes. Yeah. And, and if you look at the last three years, it's been my kind of strategy to say, mm. I'm going to come into the market to yes. raise it. And our um, equity raise is going to be small. We're going to yes. raise 25 billion yes. at one go. Yes. It's not the three, four billion the market is raising. Mm. Mm. We, we will be testing the market. Yes. When would that happen? So most likely we're going to raise money in 2016, 2017. 2016, 2016. 2016 for sure. Yes. And, and Joshua, just talk to me about new initiatives, you know, because you would mention bank assurance. Correct. Correct. I know you've been looking at insurance. Correct. Correct. What are the, what are the new things that are coming? That, you know, the new sort of potential pipelines. That, Correct. That 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 might, that, that uh, people should be looking out for with you. So we're interested also. I mean, we're interested in a new market which we have not played at, which yeah. we are actually very it's something we haven't discussed at length. Is around the set of boxes. Yes. Oh. Oh, tell me about that. It's a different kind of business model. Yes. I mean, if we, if we have to move the country to digital television, yes. that is, landscape is running. And what yes. is missing today is getting the equipment today in place mm. that will enable Kenyans transit mm. from the analog to the yes. digital signal. I mean, you probably talk so about... So you see this as an opportunity for KCB? Fun, of course. Yes, Sometimes, yes. I mean, we don't, we don't have ourselves to run the largest television yes. network. What we need to do is to find a partner today, and we're talking to some already yes, yes. at the moment, who already have licenses today, yes. to say, how can you scale up? Yeah this kind of business. Okay. Yeah, and we're, we're talking very strongly internally. We're speaking, you know, yes. some of the partners I may not be able to name today. But that's going to be a complete shift. Mm. And now KCBC is this landscape. This because we want to enable people to have access yes. to their, and then in there we can pass in kind of content. That's mm. one thing I think is going to be key, yes. even, even before this issue is addressed that is outstanding today. We're looking at leasing. Yes. We will definitely set up a new leasing entity for our business this year. Is, is that more around because the government is looking at the leasing program, for example, in the healthcare? Is, are you trying to serve governments or are you trying to serve the so entire market? So it's purely in private sector. Yeah. Largely, it's going to be able to drive on the private sector yes. that we have. So businesses, retail chains, retail stores, yes. schools, mm. you know, banking institutions. People, people are going out into saying, let me borrow your asset, use it for some time, I pay a rental for it. Yes. Basically, we are going into, before we talk about information and services, yes. we're now talking about technology and equipment and services. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And there's a huge market for this in the, today mm. in Kenya and the region. The law is already there. Yes. Um, you know, schools, today we are working with 30,000 schools for their own equipment. Mm. And that's something we see that as a huge opportunity. For. And the good thing about this business is after some years, yes. the rental is paid. Yes. You still have the asset. So, I mean, and, and, you, and you have a huge opportunity to enhance. Mm. We believe, we are, we today, we are a size of, we, we have almost close to half a billion, half, $500 million wow. today, yes. half a billion dollars yes. of leased assets. Really? Yeah. Oh, so you, you've got a leasing business right there? So, exactly. So that is what you've lent out to the yeah. market. So we need to find a way, and we think we can run this directly ourselves yes. in the coming year. We want to scale up our investment banking. Yes, what's happening Including there? brokerage. Yes. We, now have a, we, now have, we have been licensed now to run a brokerage services. So when, when, by the NSC. when can I buy and sell shares so we, through you? So we tend to do this by the, first, by the beginning of the second half. Second so half. by July, okay. we should be able to kick off. Yes. And, and actually, our investment banking team is quite been involved in the big project, the annuity financing yes, program. Yes, you, you were a key player. So we actually were involved in the design of this program, working with the PPP unit yes. in the National Treasury and the Ministry of Infrastructure and Roads. And from day one, the last eight months, we've been involved in designing and changing this going forward. 
And we do believe that those kind of projects that, that create massive transformation yes. of the country and of the region yes. has an impact in the long term for our business. So that investment is 10 years. Yes. We may not ask him for it to deliver tomorrow, mm. but when roads are built today for 10 years, yes. that business that we open up in Moranga, in Nyandarua, in mm. Kisumu, that is how we start planting the future of our business for the next generation. We're running a race for 20, 30, 40 years. Yes. So that's for me is the three main areas. So insurance, yes, we, we will scale up more rapidly yes. today. Yes, no, there's been so much M&A activity, Joshua. Exactly. Everyone's so we, 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 we're not far away. Yes. If I just kind of leave it there, we're not far away mm. from kind of, you know, scaling up our insurance investment okay. for our business. My viewers might not know, but Joshua doesn't sleep many hours. He's a man who can stay up and wake up in the morning. Joshua, what is keeping you up at night, if anything? <laughs> wow. What is, what is that? It's amazing that I get asked this question yeah. all the time, Malikan. And my big concern for us is about how do we enable what I call, in my view, at least in my language, yes. inclusive prosperity for people in this nation and the region. This is your abundance. In this yeah. historic moment, I don't want, I mean, we spend, and I speak, I spend a lot of time as a trustee of a KCB foundation. Yes. We see a lot of people today who 10 years ago could afford an education, yes. could afford health care, mm -hmm. could take their kids to school. Mm -hmm. Today, they're unable to. Yes. And I think with the knowledge that we have in this moment of 50 years, we need to be in the center mm -hmm. of changing their own capabilities and financial resources mm -hmm. to development. This is the biggest, I mean, I don't want to stand behind and leave people in abject poverty yes. today with the network we have, the resources we have, and the contacts mm. that we're able to develop. So if we can transform mm. the nation today, we can transform our country, basically for two things, in lift the income levels. Yes. So we're saying increase them by 50%. Mm. Yeah, and not just for, for the sake of papers, but yes. in reality, you walk into a small town, yes. people are much better, they have better roads, better infrastructure, they're able to engage in business, they're they are no longer in the dark, they've got lighting today to be able to progress. And that's how I see it to lift. That gives us a chance to build a business in the future. And I think I'm These are your customers. absolutely yeah. passionate about the issue, about creating a change and development and progress. I call it transforming the nation. Yes. Can I be able to? And then, of course, that then goes in transforming our region mm. and obviously transforming the continent. Yeah. yeah. Because this is a group of 200 million people. That's right. Alikan is 25%, 20% of, of Africa absolutely. today. Yeah. Young and brilliant running. That, so that is an area that I say I focus my time on mm. much more. Mm than anything else. Of course, we have a business to run. Yes. But our role in business today mm. is to look at how we're impacting the lives of our customers, our yes. stakeholders. And I'm changing, I'm completely trying to sell the vision mm. that the role of business today is about people. Yes. Okay, so well, our, if you empower the so people, you're So we talk about our three Ps. So we look at how are we engaging investment in our people, yes. investing in the planet, yes. and thereby getting profits. Yes. So it's a different framework. So we lose those three, met those kind of three radars. Yes to say, are we investing, and when you invest well on people, invest well on the planet, yes. you do deliver better performance. Yeah, and you have. And that's how we see in terms of the three aspects for our business. Yeah. A few more data points I want to touch on. Return, uh, sorry, cost to income, always Correct. a challenge for KCB for a long time, but now I see we're down at 50.2. <laughs> yeah. Well, are you happy with where that is? Well, maybe, we, we can see some more marks. I, yeah. I best not believe that maybe 46, 47, 48 is a good range. Mm. But you know, like, what is exciting for me, and it's, it's, it's about the team we have in yes. the group today. Come, when I arrived in the bank, it was six, I remember the figure Martin yes. told me, yes. 63.8. Yes, me, I, I mean, remember that. I mean, it looks absurd. Yes. It doesn't look even normal. Yes. And we promised that we will be in two years, we'll be at 50%. And you're, you're just a few basis points off it. Yeah. And now we've made some, you know, obviously, we, we've, been, we've been running at 48, 49%. We are this year making a deliberate investment in our co-banking system, yes, which is, is T24. T24. Mm. We are scaling up to mm. achieving 25 million customers. Yes. And so we're saying, okay, we'll increase it by 300 basis points, yeah. 400 basis points. But that is reinvesting for the future. But, but I think a lot of the technology that we've invested yes. in channels are changing. So you can feel an organization. It's actually quite dramatic. Yeah. Well, in terms that of an organization, yes. Number of yes. transactions. Exactly. I mean, Ali can, I, if I give you the number of transactions, you're looking at them today, which I didn't speak about. Mm -hmm. So, averagely, we are doing two and a half million transactions per day. Which is huge. How many were you doing, if you think back? So, we were doing, we were doing you know, we were doing kind of like 300,000 transactions, 400,000, 500 transactions. And at peak times, yes. we have got 
12 million transactions per day. So it spikes. There's, uh, there's, there's, there's yeah. a natural spike. Yes. Uh, when you look at it in terms yeah. of our customer base, it's not all linear. Yes. Some great days. Yes. It comes down to 1.5 million, moves up to 12 million, you know, and then the days it's all running at 12 million yes. for five days, yes. six yes. days, yes. then then eases off and runs. I mean, that's, that's something we would never see as an organization yes. before. But it shows the activity. And it's scalable, is it? Can we, I mean, I mean could, could that go so like up 10 times? So now we are saying, look, how do we build an enterprise and a solution mm. that can run 100 million transactions? Yeah. That's really what, our, mm. that's what we're building on. So that's what you're running today in terms yes. of, because we're saying if you can process, you know, 50 transactions per second, mm. you can increase your transaction per minute yeah. four times. Yes. So if you can process 25 million customers, multiply by four, yes. you can reach 100 million customers' transactions at any one go mm. for our solution. And that's a good part for us. But, but it's a great story to tell. Yeah. Because generally, organizations which have great history like us, yes. I like oil tankers. Yes, they yes. Don't turn I mean, how do you become efficient? That's it. There are few classic cases yes. in this market yes. where you can talk about such dramatic reconstruction. Th that's right. Process. A reconfiguration, right? Exactly. I mean, it's phenomenal. So that's so it's a good point for me if I look at it. So I'm very excited about our efficiency yes. as an organization. I might be also of the improvement we made on our non-interest income. It's yes. now at 38%. Yes. What drove that? So our mobile banking and agency banking ah, are a key part yes, yes, of the transactions. Yes, yes. That's where it's coming, all is coming from. Wow, yeah. okay. So, so that could even pick up much so, more So we speed. see 50%. Yes. So next two year. years, mm. two years next mm. year we're looking at 50%. Wow. It has come down from 23%, went to 32%, it's now 38%. Yes. So the growth is much more phenomenal mm. in that kind of... And we haven't even brought in our strategic partner, which is Faricom, in the yes. equation. So yes. that's, that's another part of and the And this growth. is this announcement you're making in a, in a exactly. week or so time. E exactly. Yeah. So that's, that's a big part yes. for us. And, and then we, we've, that's an area we've done well, if you ask me. The cost of risk for this year is slightly higher than what we normally will do. Our range is at one point. So 1% 1 of our loans is provided for. Yes. This year we've gone for 1.8%. Because yes. we're saying less kind of deliberately take up yes. uh, provisions for our business. Fantastic. Joshua, Joshua I've got, I, I, you know, as I said when I asked you the question, I forgot to ask the question because I was so amazed at how well, you know, I've been watching the bank for many years. Correct. And these numbers are a very aggressive statement as to where you want to be and where you're going. And I congratulate you, Joshua, because I, I appreciate you're at the head of this bank. It's a momentous moment for you as well, the amount of impact you can make. And I think you've made extraordinary impact in this time. I really do. Thank you very much. I commend Alban. you for that. Good to have you as a friend. Thanks for coming. No, no, I appreciate it. Pleasure. There are more great days coming ahead. Uh, thank you very much. I Always do. a pleasure to host no, you. Thank you, Joshua. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Excellent. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.